as a young kid, I was always envious. It was kind of like a, um, a wish list, if you will, or uh, going through a catalog. I would see, you know, a bunch of, you know, pictures or toys that I wanted as, as a kid and, and, you know, putting stuff together, but just obsessing about it to the point where I'm like, I gotta, I wanna draw this. For a long time, I had a whole school notebook filled with uh, Chicago Bulls jerseys. Mm -hmm. Wanted a Michael Jordan jersey so bad. So I, you know, obsess about it and draw it and I draw me wearing it and I draw, you know, Michael Jordan and just all these, these drawings. And so it was more of an obsession to, um, to kind of, you know, get towards something I wanted, but to also have my, what I was thinking of on paper or as the finished product instead of, oh, that was close, but. There's quite a few artists uh, that I look up to that I am, I may not be able to afford something of theirs, but it's like, well, I can I can try and do that and mimic it. Um, and that's what keeps me going, where there's certain pieces that I just, I've gravitated to, and then similar works by the same artists that, you know, I, I liked because I knew I was familiar with them, but it was just, it was always one or two in a handful that was just like, why do I like this? What, what, keeps me focused right on that piece. And I think it's chasing that. And it usually starts that way and then forms into something I didn't realize I was looking for in the first place. It started off as kind of a, a abstract expressionism where I wanted to have a feeling more than an image. I didn't want people to look at it real quick and go, oh, it's a lady. Oh, it's, you know, a cityscape. Oh, it's a flower. I wanted to put people, put viewers in my position of when I work where it's a growing um, adventure. From far away, it looks like a, a female form. You get closer and you notice the lines are different and the colors and there's, there's undertones where that blue might have come through a little bit or brush strokes, something where it just draws you in but then you're fixated on it. And one of the biggest things I get a kick out of is at shows when they're looking at pieces where there is no, there's, it's just a jumble of, of uh, brush strokes and, and color and everything like that. I, they usually want some explanation. They want to be guided down this tour. And one of the things I always like throw in their way is, what do you see? What, what, what do you notice right away? What, what kind of pulls you in? And it, it's amazing because everybody's different. It's just like a song. You know, lyrics can have a certain meaning to one person and a completely different meaning to somebody else, but it's still this good song. I've noticed uh, from starting out uh, through high school, it's gone from you know smaller sizes, 16 by 20s, to huge wall sizes, and I, f I feel like I keep getting bigger and bigger. There's, there's not a uh, surface large enough that uh, that I'd be happy with. I think I'm always trying to challenge myself with size. Um, but I I find oil paints work the well for my technique, where you're layering, you're taking away. It's it's one of the saving graces of working with the oil paints is that it dries a lot slower so I can sit there for you know a day or two looking at this one corner of this piece is you know do I like it do I not like it if I don't like it palette knife just scrape it right off and, and put something new in there one of the effects I like is doing charcoal lines real nice form real straight charcoal lines and then you know throwing the oil paint over it because it, it kind of blends together which I I, I I love that effect but I think it's it's also keeping with that subtlety of, okay, this is where I started. I see these sketches, but then it just grew into something bigger. And then, you know, if there's any parts that I wanna accentuate, I'll, you know, go back over them with oil paints and stuff. But it's, it's always been that layering kind of thing where it's like, let's start with the sketch. I would like to say that it shows where I'm a little quick on the draw, a little chaotic at points. I like to just, you know, not dwell so much. I, you know, uh, there's a lot of people that I hang out with that I, I truly respect, but they've got a very careful thought process. They've got a very reserved approach to things that I admire. Um, however, I, I, I couldn't do the same. Um, you know, simple decision making, um, just stuff in, in day to day decisions where I'm just more chaotic. And I think a lot of people have that stigma of art being kind of stuffy. Um, being kind of pretentious in a way and oh, this is you know there's there's artists out there that will just do one single brush stroke on a canvas and call it art and there's different ideas going around in the world and I think that's what people are trying to do now is organize what is art what is not art and I want to kind of throw my perspective in there 
but still saying it's fun. It's 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 enjoy it. Collectively, it's that organized chaos where it's just like, ah, oh, okay, I see it now. <laughs>